Hi everybody, it's Therese. I am, um, I'm back and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm here um, to share, I've been, um, as you can see, my desk is kind of chaotic. I just pulled out some of these Tim Holtz dolls and um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen um, me coffee dye these um, white rosettes that um, I wanted to distress and make it look vintage. Um, I've been doing, <clears throat> well, I've been making a whole bunch of these um, just for projects and stuff like that. And, and <clears throat> some of these have, let me bring it, bring you down a little bit. Um, I'll show you this one, um, have little burn marks, which I love that look. I've done um, <clears throat> some, uh, um, my last challenge, I think it was last year, or was it the year before? I can't remember, but I had a challenge and I sent everybody a thank you that entered into my challenge. And I had made these, these um, regular size envelopes and I distressed them and I decorated them and I added some die cuts inside and I mailed it out to everybody. Um, so this this is some similar technique. I um, brushed um, the coffee, well, I had made, <laughs> let me start from the beginning, geez. I made these um, rosettes and they're just plain white crepe paper rosettes. Um, I brushed coffee um, and I stained it and I dried it with my heat gun. And then, you know, as you're drying, they start to burn, you know, and just certain parts of it. And I, I just let it burn a little bit here and there and on the edges and, and stuff like that. But I just love that look because it just makes it look very vintage and very distressed. Okay, so um, I wanted to come on and share what I created with them. And they're just embellishments. And I know we have made rosette embellishments before, but I don't think I've seen vintage rosette embellishments because everybody does the cutesy and the, um, um, well, mainly the cutesy <laughs> ones or the uh, with ephemera and stuff like that. So I'm using um, Tim Holtz dolls. I mean, they have big dolls and then they have the really little ones and these little ones are perfect for the little rosettes so let me share i just i made a couple and i'm gonna keep making them as i go and i just wanted to share with you what i've done so along with the rosettes i even coffee dyed um some tickets that i got from um it it's from the um five below and let me show you, I think I have the roll here somewhere. Maybe I don't. <laughs> hmm, I thought I had the roll here. Huh, okay, anyway, it's a big roll of tickets and I just brushed, you know, with a, with a little paintbrush. Um, you know, coffee, and then I dried it with my heat gun, and I distressed it with some just, just regular distress ink, you know, vintage photo, walnut stain, and, um, there's the first one I made. I did this one with these little two girls, and I just love how that looked, and, you know, I love the edges all distressed and everything, so I made that one, and then I used, and I'm gonna, um, I got this idea from uh, Esther Luca. I'm going to make some ruffles with um, crepe paper and um, was it Esther? I think it was Esther. No, sorry. Or was it uh, Tsunami Rose? Anyway, <laughs> I forget now. Um, but I watched both of their videos on I don't know which one it was which. I think it was Esther. And um, she did these ruffles with crepe paper and, and she 
layered it with this tool that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know if you can still get them from the Dollar Tree. Um, maybe during um, Easter time. Um, or it may be coming up or coming out soon. I layered that on there and then I um, I layered some um, crochet lace trim that I had in my stash. Actually these are just little snippets of stuff and then I layered it <clears throat> with these two little girls and I just love how that looked. And then lastly, I did this little boy and I added, this is another Dollar Tree um, trim that I got, oh my gosh, I want to say it was a couple years ago when I did my Dollar Tree um, junk journal and you could only use Dollar Tree items and this was one of them and I think this is the last bit of it. <laughs> I love this thing, it's so different and everything. So I you know cut pieces of it off and I just layered it on I add a little ticket and I add this little boy I think he's so adorable um, and that's it and I'm gonna be creating more of these little um, embellishments for um, you could give this you can um, definitely um, give this as gifts. You could um, add these in journals. You can add them um, to a card. You could add them to, uh, oh my gosh, I mean, I want to say that you could put this in um, a pocket letter, I want to say. I don't know if it's, it may be too wide for a pocket letter, but um, you know, the concept is there. You can make smaller rosettes and, and add it to your um, pocket letters. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and share what I've been doing. I've been playing around and, and uh, making embellishments. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, uh, <laughs> if you have any questions about these, I, I'm sure everybody knows how to do these. I mean, they're very simple, straightforward. I just haven't seen many um, vintage um, rosettes out there so I just wanted to come on and share. Um, thanks everybody for watching and have a great week. Bye guys!